We always talk about the first pitch and how important it is. None more important than for Syndergaard this year. Santana lifts one to right. Nimmo playing right field, waiting for it to come down. And Brandon puts it away to retire the side. 29 pitch first inning for Noah Syndergaard. Jolice Chassin. His Toyota numbers for this year are not good. They signed him in the offseason, but won 13 games with the Padres last year. 22nd pitch for Chassin, and Frazier lines one to the left for a base hit. Nimmo to third. He'll be waved home. Perez makes the throw to the plate. It skips on through. Nimmo gets in safely. And the Mets have an early 1-0 lead. Accurate throw by Perez, but Nimmo able to beat it to the plate. RBI hit for Todd Frazier, and it's 1-0 New York. And Arcia down on strikes for the second out. Second strikeout for Syndergaard. One two coming. And he struck him out to end the inning. Strikeout there of Chassin. Endured as a young player growing up in the South as well. Strike three called and VR is out on strikes. And that is four strikeouts in a row for Noah Syndergaard. 2-2 to Thames. Struck him out. And Syndergaard strikes out the side in the third. He's halfway to Seaver. He struck out five in a row. one nothing Mets in the third. Kane goes down on strikes. That's six strikeouts in a row for Noah Syndergaard. Whoa. And he has really found his groove. Good change up there, too, to Kane. So he's been doing it with everything the slider, sinker, four seamer, and again the 0 2. Struck him out. Got him with a changeup. Seven in a row for Noah Syndergaard. 2 2 to Santana. Struck him out. Eight strikeouts in a row for Noah Syndergaard. He's heading for some history. Strike three call. Big strikeout for Syndergaard. Bandy thought it was low, and he barks at Hunter Wendelstead. He's got to watch out. He's, he is the only healthy catcher for Milwaukee. Cannot afford to get thrown out of this game. Greg Council is going to come out to make sure he doesn't. And now, I don't know if it's Bandy or Council, but somebody has been thrown out of the game. 2-2 to Chassin. And it's hit toward the hole. Great stop by Rosario. Gets to his feet. The throw on target. Side retired. Ahmed Rosario saves a run and keeps the Mets in front. So hand it over to Robert Gazelman. Look at the strikeout rate for Gazelman so far. He has a... Uh... And he grounds one toward the hole. Rosario on the backhand. The long throw to make on a hop. Can't be handled by Flores. Here comes Kane with the go-ahead run. The Brewers get two runs, and they lead it two to one. Well, Rosario, who made a wonderful play to end the fifth inning, made the stop, but the throw in the dirt, and Flores could not pick it out, and two runs come home, and the Brewers go in front. In between hops, so great stop, and just couldn't get enough on this throw, and it was an in-between hop, and very difficult uh, for Flores. Kind of just throw the leather out there and hope that you catch it, and he did not. And it's nice to know it's good to see that we still have a part of that. And Brandon Nimmo ties the game about. with a long home run, his first of the year, and gets the Mets back even. Nimmo had a triple his last time up. It's his first home run of the year. And the Mets again respond after the opposition puts up run. Yeah, three hits today, a hanging slider. And a broken bat liner over Frazier's head into left field, a base hit for Bandy. So he shattered his bat, but got enough on it to dump it into the outfield. Well, no earned runs allowed for Ramos in these eight games, but he's got a test here with VR. VR at first with one out. And Aguilar hits a topper to the left of the mound. Ramos from his knees throws him out. Gold glove caliber play there by A.J. Ramos. And the only play he had. Two out. 
Jerry Blevins who faced one batter on Friday night comes in to face one big batter in the seventh inning today. Curve ball grounded down to Flores. Side retire. Blevins gets one king size down in the top of the seventh. Stretch time at City Field still tied at two. He's a free agent after this season also familiar in here. Uh, closer with the game tied. One two quick pitch fastball in there for a call strike three. Bandy wasn't ready on the quick pitch. And he's caught looking at the fastball for the first out. Two two coming. Foul tip strike three. Sogard down on strikes. Back to back K's. For and it's lined one hopper grabbed by Rosario. Low throw oh. picked up by Flores side retired. Everything's an adventure on the throws by Rosario today. Well, Matt Albers uh, last year, his best year in the major leagues for the Washington Nationals. 1 2 coming. And Flores hits it out to left center field. Back in the gap toward the wall. It's out of here. Wilmer Flores ends it with a walk off home run. The Mets' first walk off win of the year, and it's Wilmer who provides the game ender. Second home run of the year for Wilmer Flores. And the Mets take the rubber game of the series for Milwaukee. They're now 12 and 2 on the year. Five series in a row for the Mets. They win this rubber game on the home run by Flores. And that's the first time in this inning that Albers went to the outside corner two times in a row. And this one caught the middle of the play. Third career walk-off home run for Wilmer Flores. And he got it.